October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, time for a reminder that help is available in Flagstaff. I went to Northland Family Help Center and spoke with staff and a domestic violence survivor to find out what impacts domestic violence can have and who can be affected by it. So it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We're wearing purple. Shailene Seward is the resident director of Northland Family Help Center. She and her colleagues help survivors every day. So Domestic Violence Awareness Month is a special time. We celebrate that you're a survivor uh, and that's um, important. Approximately 40 new domestic violence survivors show up looking for help each month. Northland offers services to women and men of all ages. They provide a place to sleep, clothing for those who need it, and programs for survivors to get back on their feet. The shelter is open 24 hours a day. They are fabulous, and they are brave, and they are very diverse. So I think that there can sometimes be a media image of what a survivor of domestic violence looks like, what their life is like, what their beliefs are, all of those kinds of things. And um, domestic violence can be a part of you know, many people's lives. Nicole is a survivor of domestic violence. She was in two abusive situations, one involving a parent while the other included an abusive ex-boyfriend. She says people need to be aware of more than just the violent aspects of it. In general, the public need to know kind of how severe some cases can be. Law enforcement um, need to be a little bit more trained to recognize being manipulated by the abuser and um, being more aware of being able to distinguish who's actually being abused and who, who isn't. Over the course of a year, more than 10 million people are abused. Depression and suicidal behavior are often the result of being in domestic violence situations. One in 15 children are eyewitnesses to domestic violence and can also be victims. Domestic violence is something that we can talk about more and more. It's also um, something that we haven't eradicated from our communities and the way that we relate to one another. Nicole has turned her experience into a way to grow as a person. Her advice to others is simple. To someone that's just experiencing, don't let it, don't feel like that anything was your fault. There is that help out there if you're just willing to ask for it. If you or someone you know is struggling as a result of domestic violence, the Northland Family Help Center is a local resource that is completely free. You can call them at the number on the screen. There is also a national dom domestic violence hotline that you can call toll free. If you'd like to just know, if you'd like to know more information, you can also check out the website thehotline.org.